Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. I'm Paul Sinclair and today we're looking at Tom Petty's Wildflowers reissue which is called Wildflowers and All the Rest. The reason it's called Wildflowers and All the Rest is because there's quite a few discs of additional audio which we'll take a look at. Uh, but the main thing to remember is that Tom Petty originally fancied doing this as a double album. It was his first record for Warner Brothers and it was eventually released in November 94. And, you know, it's a familiar story, but the, the record label, a bit like Prince with Sign of the Times, they sort of convinced him to reduce it and keep it as one album. So this, one of the things this reissue does is it kind of reintroduces the original songs that were left off the album, which would have been on the double album. So that's uh, kind of an interesting aspect to it. So this is a four disc package this is the four CD set, and it includes uh, the remastered album, a disc called All the Rest, 10 songs which were in the running to be on the double album. So these are all unreleased tracks. And then there's another disc of home demos, home recordings, and then a disc of live performances as well. So this is actually called a deluxe edition. There's a five CD version which is only available via the Tom Petty uh, website which is officially the Super Deluxe Edition. And the fifth disc is alternate versions of the uh, Wildflower tracks on the album. So it's a bit of a shame that that wasn't part of the standard package because the Tom Petty store is an American store. So anyone in Europe or the UK got to order it from America. So therefore you may end up having to pay duty, etc. And it does sound really interesting. I'd really like to have heard the alternate version. So a little bit of a shame, but that doesn't take away from what is a very, very well curated package. I mean, you can see the packaging here is really high quality. It echoes how the vinyl set is packaged. We'll look at the vinyl set in a minute. It's got these folios and this binding here at the top. Uh, Warners have done this a few times actually over the years. They've done it with um, Van Morrison they also did it with uh, Joni Mitchell as well. So they've used this a few times over the years. But it's high quality. This is kind of thick card. And the, the front section opens up with some pages of notes and, and uh, track by track annotation. And then it goes into the discs at the back here. So let's just take a look through then. I mean, it's very sad that Tom Petty isn't around to be involved in this reissue because it's such a good album, but Rick Rubin, the producer, gives a bit of an introduction there. Some photos. And then what is an excellent track by track annotation. It, it's really, really strong. They go through every track on every disc and you've got different musicians, different contributors. Rick Rubin is, talks all the time about the tracks and why they changed them and where they were recorded and when they were recorded etc and various musicians from the band so it's really fascinating stuff um, it's fantastic to read this when you're listening to the audio so all the live stuff's talked about as well here some nice photos at the end credits and then this is the section where the discs live so that's what the discs look like. Really nicely designed, sort of quite old school. So that's the uh, album remastered. That's all the rest. All these discs are the same actually in terms of their look and their design. These are the home recordings. And then finally the live disc there at the end. Now there is a two CD version of this, which is the album and all the rest. The additional tracks that, that were gonna be on the double album. That's packaged slightly differently. Instead of having this artwork here it has a photo and the artwork's a bit smaller in the left hand side i don't actually know how it's packaged but the front cover is different and that same version the two cd version is available as a three lp set as well so if you just want the remastered album and the additional tracks then that's a, an option as well buying the three lp vinyl edition haven't worked my way through the whole thing yet but the album sounds incredible i mean it always sounded incredible anyway the remastering is excellent. I mean, it's a bit of a shame that Mary Jane's Last Dance isn't part of the bonus audio, because that was the first song that they did together, Tom and Rick Rubin. I can only imagine that MCA owned that, because it was on the greatest hits. 
not owned by Warners and that complicated thing. I mean, that's what I'm guessing uh, was the situation because it would have been logical to put it on here. But that's the five CD version. Let's take a look at the seven LP deluxe edition, which mirrors all the content in this CD set. So here we go. It's massive and it's heavy. I'm so used to lift off lid vinyl boxes. It's, it's great to see something a bit different. I mean, this is uh, similar to that CD set. If you have a close look here. It's where vinyl albums get their name because it's done like old 78s were, you know, literally in, a, in an album full of records. So that's what that's all about. So this is like a giant version of the CD set, really. There's only one slight limitation with this kind of packaging. Because it's not a square and because this bit takes up some extra space, if you, if you haven't got very deep vinyl shelves, then it, then it does stick out. This tends to stick out a bit. It's the only kind of downside. But you can see there, there's some... Uh, that really sticks out nicely with the gold foil blocking. There was no foil blocking on the CD set, but it is on the, uh, it is on the vinyl set. I mean, this is incredibly expensive. It was 200 pounds. I think it's just gone down to about 160. It's not cheap, this. But it has one big advantage over the CD set, and that is the booklet, which is in this front section here. So the booklet slides, slides out of this. You can see that there's a pocket there. So the booklet slides out of that pocket. So this is a little bit more than a large format version of the CD booklet. There is some extra content, which I'll show you. Because everything's so big, it just looks so much better. I mean, the photos, look at that, the massive photo. All this artwork, wonderful artwork. That's the same intro by Rick Rubin, so it's the same text as the CD set. But the photos do look a lot better because they're so much bigger. And there's just more space for the design. One thing you don't get in the CD is this essay by David Frick, which I think is a little bit mean of them not to give you that because the CD is 35, 40 pounds, I think, for the four CD set. And it's a little bit mean to not include this, despite the fact that the track by track annotations are fantastic, but um, you only get this David Frick essay if you buy the seven LP version. There's a nine LP version as well, which remember I was telling you about the five CD set with Finding Wildflowers. Well, there's a, a vinyl version of that as well which is only available via the Tom Petty website. But yeah, I mean, I haven't read this yet, but it, I'm looking forward to digging in. And, and this kind of artwork is just always so much better, 12 by 12. This is like a perfect bound booklet. All the lyrics are here. And of course it does contain the same track by track annotation, which is really crucial in terms of enjoying the audio. It's, it makes such a difference. So this booklet is, is really excellent and uh, as I say, it, it does hold content over and above what's in the CD package. So the booklet slots back into there and then this section here is quite straightforward. It's seven vinyl records done in this album style. These are all black vinyl. And if you look here, each vinyl record is in has an inner sleeve. Now, it, controversially, it's not polylined, which is extremely surprising. But it, but it does have an inner sleeve within that outer folio. So all seven records are like that. And again, I mean, the content is exactly the same as the CD box. So Wildflowers itself is split over two LPs. All the rest is one, that's three. And then the home recordings and the live are both two each, so. That gives you four, which gives you the seven LPs. So I know many people have been waiting so long for this. It's amazing to finally see it released. It's such a fantastic record. And I think this deluxe edition, you know, it's not the cheapest. There's actually an ultra deluxe version, which was $500, £500, something like that from Tom's site. So they've certainly gone for it in terms of presentation, but and it isn't the cheapest. It's hard not to be impressed with the thought and the detail that's gone into this package, both from an audio point of view and from the presentation. I mean, the only caveat is I do think saving Finding Wildflowers for the special D2C 
uh, Tom Petty website. I do think they should have just put that in. As I can understand why they were worried about the cost of the vinyl, but I think a five CD set for 35, 40 pounds would have been fine. But anyway, this has been a close look at Tom Petty's Wildflowers reissue. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to the SDE YouTube channel for more great unboxing videos. For now, keep holding the music in your hands and I'll see you next time.